Yeah. So let's chase people for feedback. That's what's next. Um, <laughs> so I imagine people that are involved in recruiting um, have a similar experience where the interview, you, interviewers show up. It might have been a phenomenal interview, but ultimately not everyone can get on the same page until they get that feedback all together for um, a particular candidate. There are a lot of reasons that I hear um, for why scorecards or feedback on interviews haven't been filled out. Um, and I will acknowledge I am a culprit of some of these sometimes. Commonly I'll hear, sorry, I'm just wrapping up a meeting. I'll get to that soon. Or I can't track down my notes. Um, sometimes it's just genuinely that um, interviewers are busy and they forget. Um, but one of the most common that I actually see and experience myself is that I'll procrastinate after an interview if I'm on the on the fence about someone. Um, sometimes I just need a little bit more time to think, and then well intentioned, um, I hold off on that scorecard. But ultimately, that that means I I'm more likely to forget. Um, so again, this this part of the process, when if I'm on the fence about a candidate, can prolong and ultimately result in multiple days of delay in that candidate experience. Um, because especially as a global company, if someone forgets or doesn't have their scorecard filled out, um, we have to chase them down and it might be across different time zones. So all of these reasons come up and all of these reasons are important things to be able to address and as much as possible streamline this feedback process. Right, and it should come to no surprise that we have a automation for this as well. Uh, streamlining the feedback process can really take many forms, uh, but in this automation, uh, we again use Slack and really this kicks off when a candidate is moved to the interview stage in your ATS. This creates a Slack channel and adds all the interviewers so that they're in the loop about who they're interviewing and who is actually interviewing this person. Uh, scorecards are then sent to each interviewer after each interview uh, so that uh, the interview is fresh in their mind and it just lets them, gives it, makes it easy for them to access this, uh, this review process. And uh, we'll uh, talk a little bit more about that in the next slide. Um, after all these interviews are done, one thing that you can do is set up a, a Zoom call automatically and automatically add everyone to this call and then uh, send out the link so the interviewers can all jump on this call uh, in this room and make a decision immediately while the interview is still fresh in their minds. We also talked about making this process a great experience. And one thing that you can do is uh, integrate to a service like Sendoso and automate the sending of post-interview swag to drive excitement with that, with that candidate. So uh, what, getting back to that second step, uh, sending reminders to fill out the scorecard right after the interview is really sick, uh, really simple and quick, uh, but it's very impactful. Just the act of putting notifications right where people are working, like in Slack, increases the turnaround time to gather all the feedback required uh, before moving forward with a candidate. Uh, and Jessalyn, uh, would you say that this has an impact on time to hire? Yeah, again, this is huge. Um, again, working with hiring teams that are spread across the globe, um, you can end up with, with multiple days that are delayed if you don't get feedback and scorecards done in time. Um, so being able to get those reminders when a particular interviewer is on the job and it's their daytime, um, which I can't always do if we're across the world, um, this, this particular automation is especially helpful to help move things along.